India just witnessed the largest strike in the world in recent times. Around 200 million industrial workers, employees, farmers and agricultural labourers observed a two-day general strike on March 28th and 29th. The strike was supported by students and youth, artists, intellectuals, scientists and other middle-class sections. The last two years have seen a further deterioration of the living standards of working people due to the pandemic and the lack of enough policy interventions by the Modi government. Some of the key demands of the protesters were abandon all attempts to privatize public sector undertakings, provide income support of rupees 7500 or 98 US dollars per month to all non-income tax paying families, increase allocation for rural job guarantee scheme, extend employment guarantee programs to urban areas, provide universal social security for all informal sector workers. At the moment, only about 10% of India's 400 million strong workforce is covered by some form of social security. Provide statutory minimum wages and social security cover for 6 million scheme workers. Scheme workers are primarily women who do crucial jobs like providing frontline healthcare services, childcare services, etc. Provide full protection and insurance cover for frontline workers serving the people in the midst of the pandemic. Regularize all contract workers and scheme workers and ensure equal pay for equal work for all. Scrap the four labour codes. These codes allow employers to increase the workload on workers, make it more difficult to get fair wages and form trade unions, and reduce barriers to firing workers. Provide minimum support prices for crops. Minimum support prices is a safety net given to the farmers to ensure guaranteed minimum prices for their produce. Withdrawal of all cases against farmers who are part of the farmers' agitation. Cancel the new pension scheme and restore the old scheme. Increase minimum pension under the employee's pension scheme. Substantially reduce central excise duty on petroleum products. Take concrete steps to arrest the price rise. Increase public investment in agriculture, education, health. The strike on March 28, 29th is a challenge by working people and their families to the far-right Narendra Modi government. The strike is also a fight to save the people's future and save the country.